Digitalization is currently omnipresent and inseparably connected with the generation and processing of information. Setting up a completely integrated data landscape is one of the most important requirements for the digital process system. With the universal integration of SIMIT, COMOS and SIMATIC PCS7, we are implementing a universal flow of data over the entire life cycle of a plant. From planning, commissioning and operation all the way to modernization. In this way, you not only optimize your engineering workflows in the automation system, but you simultaneously form the basis for the digital twin of your actual plant. Using a valve as an example, we will show you the integrated workflow between our solutions in detail. In the first step, the components of our SIMIT simulation software are archived so that they can be imported into the CAE tool COMOS. COMOS combines all of the participating disciplines on a central database and ensures a seamless flow of information. The correct information is therefore available to the respective user at all times. The SIMIT components can be imported using the import function in COMOS and thus become part of the COMOS master objects. Then the SIMIT components are assigned to the respective COMOS master objects. The SIMIT component parameters are allocated to the COMOS connections and attributes. After the successful assignment, the data can now be exported from the process flow diagrams. Both individual P and IDs and entire plant structures can be selected as start object for the export. The data is exported as an XML file. The XML can be read into SIMIT via the so-called generic import and the simulation model can be automatically generated. With SIMIT, all relevant automation functions can be simulated and tested long before the plant is put into real operation. This leads to a quick, effective, safe and problem-free ramp-up of the plant. You can then navigate to the desired function from the P and ID. Via the link to the process control system structure, you can navigate to the associated control module. The control module contains a function diagram on which both the CM and the signal interconnection and the interlock logic can be positioned interconnected and assigned parameters. You can navigate from the function block diagram to the corresponding I.O. channel in the locations view. The hardware configuration is performed in the locations view. Furthermore, the configuration diagram is created on which the corresponding plant topology is displayed. The plant topology, parts lists and relevant mounting diagrams of the hardware 
can be used as early as during the bit phase as well as during later operation to document the plants. The plant hierarchy, control module and the hardware configuration can now be exported from COMOS. The XML transfer can be used both for SIMATIC PCS7 and for SIMIT. As a result, consistent data management is achieved in these three systems. Created by the XML import, the technological hierarchy, the control module, as well as the hardware configuration arise automatically in PCS7. These dates can be used without further adjustments for virtual commissioning and can be loaded for example in the virtual controller of SIMIT. By means of the complete integration of the SIMIT virtual controller, you can emulate the SIMATIC PLCs with only a few mouse clicks. For this, a new coupling is added and the PCS7 project is selected. The distribution of the individual VCs to other PC stations is also done directly from the SIMIT interface. The I.O. level is also imported with a symbol name from the PCS7 project when the coupling is created. The device level is generated in SIMIT by importing the control modules and the plant hierarchy. The XML that was exported from COMOS is used for this. The simulation models are created using pre-configured templates. After the three levels of the simulation have been created, the VC can be started and loaded from PCS7. Even in the training environment, the plant operators work with the original operating screens and automation programs, with the only difference being that the virtual plant, not the real plant, is controlled. This ensures low risk and efficient operation of the plant. With the integration of SIMIT, COMOS and SIMATIC PCS7, the planning and operating worlds are optimally combined and the plant is accompanied over its entire life cycle. The constant and consistent updating of data allows the use of a virtual twin, which is the same as the real plant in every respect.